Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Now I've recently done a travelling open cup and I used metallic colours and a blue-green colour by Pevio. Now I had lots of requests about doing very different uh, colour palettes because I asked for some feedback so that's really really great so thank you so much. So today I'm going to do a travelling open cup, black base and then I'm going to just use some blues and greens to reflect the ocean. So this is the piece that I did previously using the open cup and you can see that I managed to create quite a few cells and I looked at the composition. So this time round I'm going to use the same canvas 20 by 20 inches and I'm going to go from corner to corner and what I hope to do is to create like a, um, a wavy design in the middle that allow me to stretch it out and then I will keep some negative space on each corner. So that's my intention, let's see what we can create. Okay, so I'm using these gorgeous blue and green tones from Pebio and Amsterdam with also a dash of gold and processed black is going to be the base coat with flow troll as my pouring medium. So this is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to have a black base and then I'm hoping that the blues, greens and the gold are going to pop through when I do the travelling cup and create some gorgeous cells. And this was a suggestion by many of my viewers, so thank you so much for your feedback. And this is very much ocean inspired, so I really hope you like it. Okay, so just a dash of black that's going to go under my open cup. I'm going to put my cookie cutter on top. So that's my open cup that I'm using. And then I'm gonna just layer those colors one by one in that cup. And as I drag that across the canvas to do the traveling cup, I'm just gonna slightly lift it to allow that burst of color to pop through the bottom that mixes with that base color of black. And hopefully cells will be created. And then what I'm doing is I'm stepping back as I normally do just to have a look to see what kind of composition I'm trying to achieve. I'd really really like to maintain some of the black base so some of the negative space and that will help those colors pop through and it will also allow the eye to follow the pattern of the open cup. So just a little bit more that's a gorgeous green. I'll obviously list all the colours in the description. Okay, so I'm going to slightly, gently lift the cup as I travel it across the canvas. And then the colours will come out through the bottom, through the black, and hopefully pop up out of the black. Wow, as you can see, some of those cells, wow, look at those, some of those cells are already forming. There's no cell activator in this. The cells are literally uh, forming because of the fluidity of the paint. I mix my brand of paints, so you'll see that I've used um, De La Rowney System 3 acrylic for my base. And then the colors I've used a combination of Amsterdam and Pebio. And by mixing the brands, that helps me create those cells. And they're not all opaque or all transparent. There's again a mixture of those because that will help with that cell formation. So I'm just layering the cup. Again, I'm just going to slightly lift it and drag it. And lift it and drag it. And you'll see the burst of colors coming out. It's really important when you're doing this just to kind of think where you want the cup to go before you move it. It's really easy just to lift the cup up and drag it, and then you get to the uh, you get to a point and you think, oh no, what, you know, where am I going to go with this? Something that I always do before I do a creation is I have a bit of a rough draft in my mind. I might even sketch it on paper just to kind of understand where I want that cup to go. Look at those cells. Look at all those gold, green, and blue cells. Now my aim is to try and keep as much of that. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, so. Just kind of having your mind the kind of perspective and the composition that you'd like for your piece. I think that's always the key with a creation. 
I really like designs that cover the full canvas, but sometimes if you leave that negative space, that can really, really make a, a creation stand out. And it can also draw that eye in to all those different areas and all that different detail. So last one, I'm just going to lift it up slowly and drag it. More of that green turquoise is coming through now, so that's good. I'm happy with that balance of color. Okay, so I'm thinking of doing another one, but I won't. I'm just going to literally, shall I do another one? Yeah, go on. I'll do a little bit more. And then I'm using up all my colors, so that's good. Guys, I'm learning to not waste as much paint anymore, so you should be proud of me. <laughs> I'm proud of me. Um, and it's also good for the environment that I'm not wasting so much. So it's, it's a good all round um, achievement there. Okay, so just this last bit. I keep looking back at right at the beginning where all those cells are popping up. I'm a bit mesmerized by them. Um, okay, just traveling with the cup. Okay. Now the end might be a little bit messy, don't worry about that because when I tilt and when I get the overall design I'm going to push that off the edge of the canvas so it's all good. So I'm just going to torch now to get rid of those air bubbles. Now before I stretch it out I just wanted to show you the view that I've got. So that bit there I'm not going to worry about because I'm going to push that off the edge but look at some of these cells and some of those colours that are kind of combining together. I really really love this colour palette and thank you so much to everyone who reached out to me, provided me with feedback and said Mark you need to do some blues and greens and almost do like an ocean inspired theme so that's why I chucked the gold in as well to kind of represent the sand colour and it was a really good suggestion so thank you to everyone who who provided me with that feedback and i've also got some other color combinations that i'm also going to play with in the coming weeks and months so watch out for those okay so it's time to stretch it out i'm going to put a little bit of music on and i hope you enjoy this video i'll come back at the end just to kind of show you some of the details
Okay, so here is the wet version. Wow, that's all I can say is wow. I really, really love this color combination. And some of those details, when you really look at the detail within that creation, some of those details are, you know, are just a wow moment for me. So I'm definitely going to play with this color palette again, uh, maybe with a different technique, um, see how different and what kind of different creation I can make, what, what other designs I can make using that same color palette. Okay, so as you can see, there's some great blues and greens combined with those gold tones. So that's really, really gorgeous. And yeah, I'm kind of getting the ocean vibe from it. So I'm really happy, really happy with this piece. I'm also happy with some of the black canvas that I've left. So some of the negative space. Wow, look at, look at those ones just there. It almost makes me want to go on holiday. I want to pack my bag, go on holiday to a sunny destination, go swimming in the sea, walk along the beach. Wouldn't that just be perfect? Okay, so some of these details are really, really cool. And listen, if you also give this a go using this colour palette, please let me know how you get on and tag me in your photos or your videos. I'd really love to be able to see what you also create. What I'll do is I will show you some further close-ups and then I'll show you the dried ver version. Wow, I'm really, really happy with this. And it's just amazing how all those those four tones have kind of combined and created such great cell formation. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. And I'm going to go through to show you a few more close-ups just so you can see all the different colours and all the different combinations and some of that detail within those designs. I love those gold cells just on the edge and as they merge into the blues and the greens. I really hope that the the shine can maintain when it's dried. But as I say, I always put a, uh, a coating of gloss varnish on. So I hope to ensure that I can have that glossy finish um, right at the end. Those colours were just yummy, weren't they? So here's the dried version. Um, I do have a light on actually, just so you can see some of those details and it just shows how that gold can shimmer in that light. And now a lot of this that you can see looks blue, but off camera it's green. So my camera's not picking that up very well. If I try and tilt to a different angle, you might see the more of the green tones. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this dried. Um, I love that color palette, so I'm definitely gonna play with those again. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you've enjoyed this creation and I hope I've inspired you to do an ocean inspired open cup creation. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great week and I'll speak soon. Bye.